In 2024, Spotify took a hyper-rational data platform and turned it into a one-of-a-kind emotional experience. This is how we pulled it off. Spread Beats. The first music video coded and experienced entirely in Excel. We managed to code the whole music video in one single Excel file of 10 megabytes. We implemented the music video into the actual spreadsheet Spotify sends to clients. And ironically, to do something this advanced, we had to take a trip back to the origins of data and algorithms. We used old compression methods and visualization techniques that hadn't been used for over 30 years, all in the spirit of economy. Like keyframe-based animation, curve-based animation, wireframe rendering, dithering, color compression, indexed color, MPEG-1, and fractal image compression. In a way, this was digital archaeology. Excel is designed to store and display data, so we stored everything we needed, from external code libraries to animation sequencing, all as simple numbers and characters in an Excel sheet. Even the track is stored in a separate tab. We built an algorithm inspired by control theory to sync the track to the visuals so they are always within a range of 5 to 15 milliseconds, imperceptible to the eyes and ears. Then, we turned built-in Excel functions into cutting-edge visualization techniques. Unicode is a set of alphabets used by Excel. It covers a huge range of languages, from widely spoken ones like Spanish and Hindi to obscure ones like Tifinagh, Linear B, and Old Hungarian. The characters from these alphabets became data we used to craft visuals within Excel. ASCII in Excel is used within formulas to manipulate and process text data efficiently by converting characters into numerical values. We used it as a visualization tool. ASCII characters were arranged in specific patterns to create images. Conditional formatting in Excel automates the styling of cells based on predefined criteria. It's normally used to execute repetitive tasks in Excel. We used conditional formatting to create a visual universe entirely governed by numerical inputs within cells. What's exciting about this project is that we use the full capacity of Excel. Everything is made with native Excel functionalities. Typically, animations are designed with square pixels, a standard practice in digital design and animation. However, due to the nature of our canvas, we had to adapt and animate for rectangular pixels. We turned a 2D grid into a 3D canvas. A 3D artist created imagery that was translated into Excel by using characters to create the illusion of depth. We repurposed native Excel elements like graphs to create line drawings. And then we strive for photorealistic imagery without sacrificing processing power. But we encountered a roadblock until a solution from the 70s emerged. For performance reasons, we use Quad Tree, a technique from the 70s used to create imagery in low resolution environments. We can save file space by consolidating visually similar regions. For areas requiring greater detail, we employ more cells, effectively increasing the resolution. It allows us to focus on specific regions we want to highlight. But all technology means nothing without an emotional connection and a story. Meet E7. Born in column E, row 7, in a rational world of numbers and data, where everything makes sense, but where something is missing. E7 longs for more. So one day she wakes up and explores different visual worlds on a journey to find herself and belong, taking on increasingly complex and beautiful forms along the way. A simple Excel cell transformed into a being capable of conveying emotion. Nowadays, we all chase the latest technologies, but we forget that we can tell profound stories even with the most rudimentary technologies. 